Venezuela, the National Electoral Council has officially extended voting hours until 7 o'clock at night. A total of 1,174 voting centers throughout the country opened their doors at 8 a.m. local time to begin the day of familiarization and training with the voting system. The people registered in the electoral registry may participate in any voting center. The only requirement to vote is the presentation of the identity card. In this regard, the president of the National Electoral Council Elvis Amoroso stated that this is a demonstration of the country's democratic strength to the world. And today we are giving the world the opportunity to realize that it is a transparent electoral system where everyone can come and do their simulation to familiarize themselves with each one of the machines in the place where it corresponds in any municipality in any state. In Venezuela, the vice president of the National Electoral Council, Carlos Quintero, informed that the voting drill has been carried out with a high turnout. First of all, well, congratulations to all the people of Venezuela for showing their enthusiasm, their support to democracy, to the strengthening of democracy. Secondly, congratulations to all the officials of the National Electoral Council who have worked hard during these months to carry out this activity, which is very important for the electoral schedule, such as the drill. We can say that at this moment we have fulfilled three fundamental objectives of the exercise. The first of them was participation, that Venezuelan men and women could be in front of the machine and express their will and interact with the voting experience. This is a fundamental factor for us, because it undoubtedly encourages participation and tells us a little of what the great electoral celebration we are going to have on July 28th is going to be. At this hour we have an overwhelming participation that gives us of course an incentive of what is going to be the great participation for the 28th. Likewise, the Vice President of the National Electoral Council said that the electoral drill has been satisfactory, emphasizing that the Electoral Council guarantees the quality of the service in the polling stations. We can say that we have had a satisfactory average time for each voter, between 38 and 42 seconds, thanks to the technical effort made to streamline the process at polling stations, so that people do not have to wait in long lines on Election Day. We also tested the national counting centers, the means of communication to send election results, the data transmission network, and all the security mechanisms regarding the ballots. Venezuela Nuestra Campaign Command Coordinator Rafael Lacava urged right-wing parties to respect the results issued by the National Electoral Council on the upcoming July 28th presidential elections. Today, I repeat, in this election drill, once again, the Venezuelan people has told the world that there is democracy here, that we have the necessary conditions, that the results are to be respected, that we have everything ready for July 28, so I do not want to see any whining. As the president vowed by signing a pact to respect election results, whatever they may be, and here from Carabobo, I, as governor of this state, as a citizen of this state, as head of the Carabobo command, as political head of this state, and as spokesman of the national command, I say to you, gentlemen of the opposition, whatever happens on July 28, we have to respect the will of the people of Venezuela. <laughs>